Keep right center field. Thompson going back. He won't get this one. It's gone. Seven consecutive trips to the College Baseball World Series was unprecedented. So 1988 brought constant work to the OSU program to retain their lofty perch among the giants of college baseball. The 1988 club was built around Juniors Ventura and Monty Ferris, young men who would become first-round draft choices. Oklahoma State put together an incredible year. Once again, they led the nation in scoring and set a Big 8 conference record with 154 home runs. Ferris hit 397 and led the nation with 114 runs batted in. Ventura set conference records for career hits and run scored. This ball club won 52 of their first 55 games. They were ranked number one in the nation for 14 consecutive weeks, another record. Oklahoma State baseball had become a focal point for the national media. It was a difficult burden to carry. OSU rang up another Big 8 championship and hosted another NCAA regional. But the Cowboys did not survive the regional. And even though they tied the school record with 61 victories, the consecutive appearance streak in Omaha was over. I think my recollection of 88 was the, at the conclusion of the 16-6 final game here, we're in that dugout, Wichita State's over here, uh, another full crowd. Uh, we'd regained the regional in 88 which gave us great pride and worked hard toward that uh, with a very sincere and uh, heartfelt standing ovation from the crowd. They stayed with us for several minutes after that loss to acknowledge not only that ball club, but what had happened, what they had seen pass on. And there was also a feeling of something, an old dear, the loss of a dear friend, that streak, that seven consecutive years. And, and uh, it was a particularly difficult and emotional night.